Welcome to our spelling netcast. Make sure that you are prepared with your zip top bag to put your words in, your glue stick, a beautiful pair of scissors, preferably with a round top, and a nice pencil. And of course, do not forget your spelling book and your spelling words. So, let's get started by cutting out the words. Now, we are, it looks like we're going to be doing some uh, Greek and Latin number prefixes, which is pretty cool, I think. So, we're going to be learning a little Greek and Latin today. I hope you're ready to be bilingual or trilingual, something like that. Uh, ooh, bilingual, trilingual, I wonder. Bi, tri, hmm. I'm going to have to look that up. Maybe we have a word like that. Go ahead and cut this off on the top because we're going to glue it up on the top of our words. And then what I like to do is I like to cut off these exemplars and leave them. What, don't cut them out yet because I like to uh, keep them together. Makes it easier when we write things across the page, if you know what I mean. If you don't, you will in a bit, I, bet, I guess. Then I cut them straight down the top here, straight down right here. And that gives me three that I can go ahead and cut this way. Now, as we go through our spelling today, what I want you to do is I want you, hopefully, to you are cutting these out or already have them cut out. But what I want you to do is as I say the word and start writing it, I want you to say it also. And I want you to write the words exactly how I've got them written down. That way, you can learn, and I can learn also, and we can learn together, and that will help us be better spellers and, and writers and all that kind of stuff. Now, I don't want you to memorize these words, because that's not what we're trying to do here. What we are trying to do is I want you to learn these patterns. I want you to see what they mean, because they mean more to you. Words mean more as you know what they mean. Get it? They mean more as you know what they mean. So I'm going to spread these out as you can see that. I'm spreading them out so I can see them, so I can pick the words I want to use in my uh, thing. And in the very end, you are going to go through this and finish, because I'm not going to do all of them for you. That's just the kind of guy I am. So first thing we got to do is we're going to take our beautiful uh, title, right here. We're going to put a couple stripes of uh, glue across and then I'm going to glue it up on the top. This helps us know which ones we've done and what we're talking about as we go through this whole process of word sorts. Then I'm going to take my exemplars that we've got down here and I'm going to put these down here. Now you'll notice I'm going to put skip a line because I want to write these down here mono dash put a line under it uni dash by dash and then try dash and now I've got those written in we're gonna write some stuff up on the top here so I definitely want you to make sure that you um, leave some space up on the top so now I can cut these out and put them into my zip top bag so that I can sort my words tomorrow because that's just the kind of guy or gal that you are going to be because we're going to tune you loose for these tomorrow. Make sure you use that bag for a little bit later. All right. So let's talk about what we got here. Let's look at some of these words that we've got. So we've got mono. And these are all prefixes, all right? Prefixes. It means they come before the word that we're talking about, all right? So, um, mono is actually a Greek word. So let's write that up on the top here. Greek, yay. And then we've got uni, which is actually Latin. See, English, we just like to take from other other uh, languages, it makes it easier for us, I guess. But we just take the best of what we like, and that's just the kind of people we are. 
We like something and we want it, and so we use it. And that's kind of a, uh, a, a bonus, because then uh, we get the best words all over the world. All right, here we go. So we got Greek, Latin, 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 right? So let's start with mono. So let's see what we got here. Monolingual. Mono, lean, L-I-N, G-U-A-L. Make sure you say it. Then I want you to underline mono. Monolingual. Lingual. Lingual. What does lingual mean? Lingual. There's another word in here. So, oh, look it. There's another word. Bilingual. Let's put that under. Bi. Bi. Lingual. Bilingual. So we've got monolingual. We've got bilingual. Um, I thought I saw another word in here somewhere. Let's see if I can, oh, I can see if I can find it. Um, maybe not. And I think we talked about it before. My monolingual, bilingual, trilingual. This lingual actually is language. So monolingual means one. One means one language. Most of us speak one language. Hopefully you will take something, some kind of language later on, or hopefully some of you are learning another language so that you can be bilingual, which means two. Isn't that cool? So we got monolingual, we got bilingual, we've got monotone, monotone, and that means one tone. So if you're monotone, you don't have any inflection in your language and you sound like a robot. Yeah. All right. So, um, oh, let's do one more. Monopoly. Everybody likes monopoly, don't you? Monopoly. Monopoly. Monopoly? Monopoly. Huh? Monopoly. Monopoly is possession or control of one thing. One person controls. Controls. Isn't that interesting? Poly, M O or P O L Y, is actually, it's actually from the Greek word. Pauline, which means to sell. So it's one, it's a single cell. It's one person sells. One person owns everything. So let's get into bilingual. Let's do another bilingual. Bilingual. I was going to look at another bi over here. Um, bi. Mm, oh, let's just do this one right here. Biennial. Biennial. And I was going to tell you, it's two of something, but the, the great thing about this is I'm actually going to make you go and find out what this word means. So I want to know what you think biennial means, and that means you're going to have to look it up in a dictionary. Please make sure that you do that. Because I'm interested to see what you come up with. Because this is bilingual, two languages. What's biennial? And that's different than the word biannual. B I A N N U A L. Biannual. So you're going to have to figure that one out. All right? So let's do one more by word. And let's do oh, 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 bifocals. By Focals. So you've got bifocals. That means two focals. What's a focal? What do you think? What a foc bifocals are glasses, aren't they? Aren't they? So that means two glasses. Focals. Something you focus on. Focals. Two glasses. That means if you have a pair of glasses, your glass. Here's one that goes over the eye. It actually has a little piece down here that gives you something you can read close, and then up here you can read far. Bifocals. So in the same eyeglass, you can see two different uh, strengths in your eyes. That's pretty cool. 
So, all right, let's get to try because try is pretty cool. Triangle is the first word we're going to do. Triangle. And we know that from math, triangles have how many corners or how many vertex? Vertices? That would be three. So we have three, three vertices or three sides to that angle. All right, now this one's one I wanted to go over. Triathlon, triathlon, all right, triathlon, because tri means three. Athlons are interesting because in Latin, athlon, A-T-H-L-E-I-N, the actual word athlon, actually means to compete for a prize. So an athlete competes for a prize, and this athlete just happens to be doing three different things to complete for a prize. That's kind of cool. So I just wanted to go over that one. Athlete, athlion, athlete. I love it. I love it. And then we're going to do one more, which is trilogy. And when you think of trilogy, you think of something like, um, Luke, I am your father. Something like that, right? Like Star Wars? No? No, you don't think of that? You don't? You think of something else? What are you thinking of? Something like Toy Story? Well, I think of that too, because I really like those shows. But trilogy is interesting because it's three logies. And logies it actually comes to them from the, for the word Logos, which means story or words. So it's three stories. How cool is that? Love it. All right, you guys are learning all the time, aren't you? Now, we've got these ones, and you're going to have to finish all these, but we got one more. we got this uni here. Uni. Uni. So we're going to do this word right here. Unify. Unify. To unify means to bring together as one, one. So in Latin, uni means one, to unify, bring it together, one. Got it? I'm going to make you do all the rest of them, though. We don't really have any uh, um, anything else we have to worry about on this one. But I, what I need you to do is make sure that you go through... And write all the uh, extra words on here and do all that kind of stuff. Got it? Any questions? Well, I can't answer them because I'm on a video. So, finish with your words that, I, uh, that you've cut out. Write them all down here. Make sure you say them. R write them. Enjoy them. Know them. Don't memorize the words. Memorize the patterns. Mono, uni, bi, tri, so that you can get what the meanings of these words are. Words! Okay, see ya. Have fun.